What's going on, everybody? And I hope you're enjoying your Friday early afternoon. This is NYG Jeffy T85 here. And I want to talk about the Brooklyn Nets and the fact that some fans are jumping off the ledge thinking that this season is over. But at the same time, these same fans can't just think that this team is all of a sudden going to snap their fingers and be back to where they were before. Because as clear as day right now, this basketball team is just in a state of flux at the moment. Case in evident after what happened last night when the Brooklyn Nets took on the Phoenix Suns last night. For the most part, this team couldn't rebound. This team couldn't shoot until the fourth quarter. They didn't execute correctly. They were getting destroyed in second chance points. They're, they're, they're just, their effort was very questionable last night. It just seems like that this team is in a funk right now. And a lot of it has to do with the fact that Kevin Durant right now is out due to a sprained MCL. But at the same time, <laughs> at the same time, you as a basketball team have got to find a way to come together. And that starts with your stars. Now, Kyrie Irving ended the game last night with 30 points, but he has not shot well at all since Kevin Durant went down with that injury against the Miami Heat last week. Kyrie Irving has not shot well throughout an entire game for weeks. And they're going to need Kyrie Irving to play a lot better through four quarters than he has these past few games so far. The last four games, Irving has been very suspicious. Sorry, three games because Irving missed the game on Wednesday against the San Antonio Spurs. But Irving has got to play better. He's got to play better. Tuesday, I mean. Tuesday, they play the Spurs. Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons is another one that's just wrong, that's just gone backwards since Kevin Durant got hurt. Simmons, last night, he's not scoring enough points, and he got ejected out of the game after disagreeing with a call. Whether you like it or not, the Nets cannot afford you, Simmons, to get knocked out of a game because you're unhappy about the call that was made. The Nets need you on the court, and you got to be out there, and you got to help your basketball team. And the shooters on this team are way too inconsistent. Whoever it is. Whether it's Joe Harris, Seth Curry, Royce O'Neal. Claxton at times in the inside is inconsistent. But he's probably been the most consistent from the scoring point. Even though you don't want Claxton to score a lot. Patty Mills when he plays. Cam Thomas. Markeith Morris. Yuta Watanabe. T.J. Warren, Edmund Sumner. This is going to have to be a collective effort if this Nets team wants to stay afloat in this Eastern Conference because right now, right now, this Nets team is spiraling out of control. And Sean Marks was in the building last night in Phoenix to watch his team play. And you don't think that he's looking at this team right now, the fact that Kevin Durant is not out there, and he's probably just evaluating, what do I need to do when I get to the trade deadline? God damn right he is. Because this team right now, and the biggest issue with this basketball team, that I and a lot of other Nets fans have been saying for months, this team has no front court presence. Whether in the rebounding department, the scoring department, whatever it is, this team has no front court presence. You can say Nicholas Claxton, and Claxton has been fantastic this year, but he's not a natural offensive scorer on the court. He's more of a defensive and rebounding guy that can put the ball in the net because of his athleticism at the center position. But if you try to rely on Claxton to be a defensive, an offensive score on this team, you're going to be disappointed. He could put up 10, 15 points, but you're not expecting this guy to be a, you know, a, um, a Nikolai Jokic or a Joel Embiid or a Ben Adebayo. That's just not his game. He's not a full, complete offensive center. He's a defensive center and a rebounder who can put the ball in the basket and occasionally will get some dunks here or there. But that falls on your shooters and that falls on your superstars, other than Kevin Durant, they've got to get the job done. I mean, this Nets team has dropped four, four games in a row, a couple of them very questionable. To the Oklahoma City Thunder, while they are getting better, they're still a team the Nets should beat. And especially on Tuesday night against the San Antonio Spurs, a team the Nets absolutely should have beaten. 
<laughs> this team right now just looks like that they're lacking in consistency. They're looking like they're lacking in confidence. And they look like they're lacking in direction. Because Kevin Durant, whether whatever you say about him or not, trade requests in the offseason, you know, sometimes he's just like, doesn't you don't know if his mind's fully there. Fighting with the uh, people on Twitter, etc. One thing Kevin Durant is, is a hell of a basketball player. And he is a presence that this offense runs through. And without Durant right now, this team just doesn't know what to do offensively. And defensively, it might not be as big of a hit as, off, as it is offensively, but defensively, this team is taking a little bit of a step back too. This Nets team has really got to start playing better basketball in a team effort and team way. Because right now, they are 27 and 17. They're fourth right now in the Eastern Conference, barely clinging on to fourth. They've lost four games in a row. And now they have a game tonight against the Utah Jazz. And while the Jazz have been a lot better than many have thought, this is a game the Nets should win. But then again, I said the same thing about San Antonio. I said the same thing about Oklahoma City. And even though Phoenix has some talent, I said the same thing last night against Phoenix. Phoenix was playing without three of their better players. And the Nets were down by 24 at one point. Had to make a, a major comeback just to keep that game within reach. Until eventually they fell with about 10 seconds to go. This Nets team is really got to start playing more consistently on the basketball court. And this could be a very short, short season. So we'll see what's going to happen tonight. They got a pretty pretty difficult stretch. You got the 76ers coming up soon too. And they're playing very good basketball. So the Nets have got to get it together. And the Stars have got to shoot. The Stars have got to show up. Ben Simmons and Kyrie Irving especially. Last night is not what you need from both of your other stars. Simmons was not playing well before he got ejected in the third quarter. And Irving shot horrendous for three three and a little bit little bit more than three quarters in that game. And so he finally got hot at the fourth game, fourth quarter. And your shooters have to be more consistent on the court. I mentioned earlier. The Nets are going to need these other guys that have been fitting in their roles before to step up their games. And right now, nobody's really stepping up their game consistently. Nobody. So I just want to make this video about what this Nets team has got to do. It might be something similar to what I've already said, but I'm going to read it, re reiterate it. This team needs to start playing better and get back on track. And it starts tonight against the Utah Jazz. Because if this team, this team loses again tonight, and you got the Warriors on Sunday, and you got the Sixers on Wednesday, the Nets don't win tonight. Is it really crazy this team can go on a seven-game losing streak? So I just want to make this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section about the Brooklyn Nets right now. And... What do you guys think right now in terms of these guys all needing to step up? Especially your superstars that have not played well the last four games. And your shooters going out there and playing more consistent shooting the basketball. So let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this. Like, subscribe. No, turn on the no bell for notifications. And just let me know what you think about the Brooklyn Nets. And your feelings going into this game tonight against the Jazz. Thank you very much, everybody. Have a great rest of your Friday. Take it easy, and let's go Brooklyn Nets. As always, it's a Nets world, and we all just live in it.